Good afternoon, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku. Quick update on Pinatubo, a Frio and magmatic potentially, but definitely a phreatic eruption occurring at the crater about 12 hours ago, and that is certainly a boom. And you're looking for that activity here coming from Philvox. And there is the event above the clouds. This has been estimated to going to 44,000 feet. And there's the Pinatubo crater in question. Now let's take a quick look at the update. Uh, Pinatubo volcano, large explosion erupted, ash to 44,000 feet. This is mostly steam. I would say 90% steam, 10% ash. Confirmed a phreatic explosion took place at the volcano from 12.09 to 12.13 p.m. local time. The explosion did not involve new magma but was a result of overheated fluids of this shallow hydrothermal system. It generated a tall plume consisting mostly of steam and only a little ash. And we do have this photo for you as well, and you can see that puff up in the sky with the timestamp. Now, just a few uh, interesting tidbits. Why is this important? Well, because the eruptive history of Pinatubo. This baby blows at VEI-6 quite regularly, VEI-66656, the last six back in 1991. And before that, it was about 1,500 years prior. Oh, no, that was just back in 1450. That's just 500 years ago. And 500 years before that. So this baby has been erupting a lot and recently just at VEI-1. This is a tiny... A uh, phreatic eruption where the groundwater mixed with hot magma and exploded at the surface. Here is the update from uh, Philvox itself based on visual reports of an eruption plume and seismic infrasound and satellite detection. Philvox confirms that phreatic eruption occurred at Pinatubo Crater between 1209 and 1213 p.m. The event was also confirmed to have occurred after ordnance disposal activities. I want to bring your eye over here. Did they blow a hole in the side of the volcano, which caused, uh, let's say, a uh, hanging aquifer to drain into a hotter area, causing this eruption? It's anyone's guess, but it's interesting that this is the only place I found this. The event is confirmed to have occurred after disposal ordnance disposal activities by the AFP, which has no relation to the condition of the volcano, says the, the experts. Now, on the northern flanks of Pinatubo, conducted prior to noon today. So they were, they were doing ordnance disposal on the northern flanks of Pinatubo, which then erupted. <laughs> so far, there have no, been no reports of ash fall from communities of Zambales, over which the eruption plume dispersed. Considering there has been very low seismic activity in the volcano in the past days, low diffuse volcanic CO2 flux measured in the crater and high infrasound over the seismic energy released by the eruption, the event was likely driven by shallow hydrothermal processes beneath the edifice, potentially kicked off by ordnance disposal activities, which they will never admit to. That's pretty interesting. Now, local governments are advising people not to enter the Pinatubo crater. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and that's a boom to knowledge. So we had a boom at Pinatubo earlier today, and it was phreatic. And, and that basically is a steam explosion when groundwater touches hot magma. You get a phreatic explosion. It can also be phreatomagmatic with steam and magma, but this appears to be magma-free. And the pictures confirm the nature of the steam. It's all white, mostly. See, it's poking there above the sky. And there's your update on Pinatubo, which can blow to VEI-6. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Pinatubo puffs a little steam, and we report on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. All the links will be below. And we'll see you soon with another boom.